So I saw a video by Sally Point, Sally Pointer, Sally Point maybe. Um, she does like Paleolithic and Iron Age. Um, I don't know, weaving and making and and demonstration and living history stuff. And she did a she did a video about a 12 strand braid for a belt and I was like, "Oh, I have to try that." And I I never know where to put the camera. Look at my knitting needles. Um And I was like, "I have to try that." So I chucked together a 12 strand braid and realized that when it was on the loom, which was really a ruler, cuz here's where I I just chucked the ruler through these, these anchor points that I uh, meticulously rigged up there. And you can see the indentation where I was sitting on my step stool and I was just weaving away. And I realized that it looked kind of like a snake. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna make a snake. And then I was thinking of the myth of soft child, the rattlesnake. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll make Soft Child the Rattlesnake, and, uh, picture, picture a rattlesnake for a second, and how badass they are. Then picture an Ankylosaurus with the, the clubbed tail, and then picture an Arabian sand boa, and if you can't picture an Arabian sand boa, I will show you one. Made by rattlesnake. <laughs> it's just so stupid. He looks like an ankylosaurus in the back. He just looks like an Arabian set. <laughs> I can't, I can't, oh lord, I, I, <laughs> oh, I guess I could like, kind of orient these and then tie them down by the slits on the jingle bells, um, Pretty crappy job here. Um, I took it off the loom, the ruler, my fancy loom, to uh, like sew a weave for the head. Kind of botched that, but whatever, it'll stay together. Um, this is the 12 strand. <laughs> this is the 12 strand braid right here. And then I uh, <clears throat> I tapered it. And this was a, um, so I did the macrame twisty knot thingy, which I thought would look really cool, but I put too many, there, look at that bunny fur right there. I put too many jingle bells on it, so now it, you, you can't see any of the twirl, you can just see this club. Um, I'm gonna treasure him forever, and I'm not gonna have kids, but if I ever did, I think my kids would fight over who gets him. He's just as beautiful as these handmade uh, tablet weaving cards, which I did not make, but someone I sort of an acquaintance did. Okay, um, yeah, I don't know what his name is now. I was gonna call him Bell Snickle because I think that's a cute name and he has bells. Then I was gonna call him Soft Child. And then when I finished weaving the head, the eyeballs just went boing. So uh, now I kinda just wanna call him Derp. <laughs>